to hold Herman the whole time. <laughs> Perfect. This is Herman, huh? Yeah. How you doing? Well, the Smurf interview is going swell. <laughs> Can you hear, hear the background music? Now, who are, who are you? Who are we? What are your names? Uh, the real ones? I'm Chris. I'm Mike. So you are Smursh? He is. No, he I'm is. half Smursh. He is. And he's, he's, uh, he's the other half. <laughs> I'm their manager. Okay. Actually, we're the Love Twins. So let me ask you, what, what is Smursh? What is it? Yeah. It's a mess. It's a, an oral noise uh, banana public. Absolutely. I'd have to agree with that. <laughs> We've been called Smash. We've been called uh, Smarsh. Japanese called us Smarsh. That well, yeah, that's what we're called smarsh. in Japan. We're called Smarsh. In France, we're called Smirch. <laughs> We can't figure out why it's always written wrong because they get the tapes and it's spelt right on it. Uh -huh. We think it has something to do with the way it's pr they pronounce it. Yeah, for some reason people have a problem. Smash, smish, smoosh, smoosh. Yeah, smash. We haven't been called smish yet. Smick, smooth. Smick, either. That doesn't come <laughs> up very often. Smile. Smile is good. Oh, I like that. Smell. <laughs> Ooh, that smell! <laughs> Can you tell me where your the name of Smurf came from? No. I won't tell. Can I tell that? Telling. Well, it's from uh, Ian Fleming's uh, James Bond novels. They were the bad guys. It was the uh, organization. They were the bad guys. That's how Chris always said it. Yeah, well, you know, I'm part Brooklynese anyway. So, um, it was the organization, uh, um, it's, I'm not talking very clear. It's, uh, Smeared Spy and Ale, right? which means death to spies, if anyone cares. Okay. <laughs> How did we get started? I absolved myself <laughs> this question. Well, it was this rich guy. We were hitchhiking down Route 22 one night, and, uh, he pulled this over. good. I haven't heard this one yet. Go <laughs> on. He, pu he pulled over, and we got in, and, uh... <laughs> And he still sends me letters. There you go. <laughs> the God's honest truth. <laughs> Chris's own lips. When, when did you start Smurf? Um, it was in the uh, spring of 78, wasn't it? Or was it October? Well, it wasn't actually called Smurf until 1981, but we recorded it before then. Let's see. We had about 200 names we went through before we actually decided on Smurf. Okay, um, so, how many, uh, <laughs> talk, no, break talk, talk, about, talk about the tapes you've released, and, the, al and the albums, and the records, and the everything. Well, they're all about this big, and they have cases, and they sound neato. <laughs> so, what, what, what are the names of some of the tapes you've released? Um, <laughs> the, um, dub, <laughs> dub Chemist Kill Him, well, both of those tapes are on This Is What You Missed because they were odd lengths and you can't get them anymore. Sure, okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, it, um... Caracas. Caracas. It, um... Gra Caracas. Caracas. Gash. Noise Ding Dong. Hot House Bodies in a Cool Culture. The Last Supper. Murder of Crows. Make Way for the Rumbler. Give Us All of Earth Ammonia. Ordinary People. Summer Dance Party. Chronology 122, A Mackerel Sky, Come Quick, Please Help Us, We Cannot Kill the Tabunga, Slackers and Underachievers, Christ and the Meat Wagon, You've Got More Than Wheels, and Chad. Chad! It's the life story of Chad Everett. Some, Some of those tapes are not Smirsh cassettes, though. They are other, other artists. What, what, what are some influences on your music? <laughs> oh, uh, Dennis Drills. <laughs> Not the actual sound, but the sound you only hear on the inside. Mm. The cranium reverberation, that's, that's it for us. So what's, what sorts of equipment do you use um, to record your music? Usually electrical equipment. Yeah, electrical, uh, guitars, 
uh, drums. Herman. Herman. We just come up with a beat that we like, and if we like the beat, then we put something else on top of it. And when it starts to sound like a song, then Chris writes some lyrics. And then I sing it, and then Mike says, no, that's bad. Do it again. Do it again. Is that, is that voice altered somehow? Is it? No, this is straight. It's got, it's got a little, little reverb. Little reverb like it's got a little awesome. reverb to make it pretty. Hmm. <laughs> to take all the lumps out. <laughs> and to add some fresh nodules. That's about it. How do you write your lyrics? I just, uh, stream of unconsciousness. Actually, river of unconsciousness. Yeah. And just, I just sit there and whatever phrases that, uh, I don't really like I use. Okay. You know, I, and then I try to put some feeling into it. <laughs> That's um. good. That's good. That was the best lie he's told yet. <laughs> okay. We're two corporate human beings in search of the big bladder. All right. What do you see yourself doing in ten years? <laughs> Time. <laughs> <laughs> comments do we have? Yeah. With final comments, yeah. Final comments? Yeah. That's it. Thank it's God over. it's over. It's over. That was the last thing we're going to ever record. Where we're quitting trauma was too much. That's, That's right. It. It's over. We're all uh, going to become uh, goodbye, Chris. I'm going to go join Reverend Moon. 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 <laughs> <laughs>